a conversation that I feel like we've already had and had again yesterday, and I don't really want to have again. But Aaron, take it away. Aaron Murray, tell me exactly why Brock Bowers was holding this UGA team back all year. First off, that, that was just the headline. I do not believe that Brock Bowers was holding anyone back. Just going to get that clear no, no, right your now. Headline, your headline was, could UGA be more explosive yes, without Brock Bowers? And yes, so what I'm saying. More explosive. Yes, that's a key word. So what I'm Efficient saying is, and explosive, very different. Whether you want to admit it or not, you are essentially saying that UG, that Brock Bowers was holding this team back. No, 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 no. Just because you're more explosive doesn't mean you're a better offense or more efficient. Alabama has an explosive offense. They're not True. great, but they True. create explosive plays. Okay. Very different. That is the perfect oh, example right now. Georgia, that. because of the inability to use Brock in certain situations, like you look at this game, this, this team this season, what did they try to do with Brock? Get him touches early in the flat, bootlegs to him. Shit, give him a jet sweep, put him in the backfield, things like that. Just get him his touches, and then everything starts to open up around him as well. Now, all of a sudden, you don't have that. Hey, we got to get Brock the ball five plus times in the foot in, in the first half in the football game, whatever whatever metric you want to go for Mike Bobo. We can just do what 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 Carson does well. And what did I say beginning of the season? The difference between Stetson and Carson, Carson's ability to push the ball down the field. You've you've seen it too. The deep crosses, yeah. the post routes, the go balls, like the first four Carson games are a to... very sexy ass football. Nobody is Does. denying that. Exactly. And he's huge. Now, like he's now a great you... prospect. He's a yes. great prospect. Now you lean into that more. You lean into them or what's, what's Georgia doing better right now than they did beginning of the season. They're running the football. Offense lines getting healthy. Edwards and Milton are healthy. They're running it at a better clip, which is going to do exactly what Bobo has done since I was there and before I was even there run the football, play action, take shots down the field. And you got some receivers all of a sudden that are playing well. And our boy Colin gave us the, the stat last week. Uh, Georgia is more efficient this year in 11 personnel than it is with 12. In the past two years, it's been a 12 personnel team. Two mm -hmm. tight ends, two receivers, one running back. This year, more of their explosive plays are coming out of a three receiver sets. So, now, okay, go ahead. Finish no, it up. They're, they're going to use those guys more. So okay. you're going to see more explosive plays down the field. Doesn't mean it's going to be so a better I offense. I just want to be clear. So you're not saying that Georgia's ceiling is higher without no. Brock Bowers. I'm just saying you're going to see. just saying that the, the form Georgia of fans the that want to see more to be more yeah. explosive. The Georgia fans that want to see the team throw the ball down the field a little bit more, you're going to start getting that wish. Okay. I can, I can kind of accept this then. Um, because one thing that I did not, I just wanted to be painfully clear, like, like Georgia, I understand what you're saying. Georgia has enough talent where maybe you had a guy that is still awesome, but not as good as Brock Bowers. And so he takes a bit of a back seat and now he has to step up and they have so much talent hit on that roster that, yeah, may, maybe those guys, like it, you should have guys capable of stepping up and kind of playing better than they have previously. The things that I couldn't support was this idea that the ceiling was somehow higher because mm -hmm. the thing about Brock Powers is it's not like you were trying to, it's not like you were, uh, he wasn't a resource sink every now and then no. you see that right where you're trying to make a guy work and it's just not working and it becomes, it kind of holds the offense back. So in case I'm booting LSU a little bit ago, kind of see what Devontae Adams and the Raiders at times, but like every now and then it, 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 a guy can be an actual problem. That was not Brock Powers. Mm. Like, his targets were being productive. He was winning you yep. games. He was kicking ass. So, okay, um, we'll see. We'll see on the more explosive front. I don't give a shit. The only thing I care about with Carson Beck is I know he has everything. I just got to see if he's got the nuts. And he's proved me. He proved has me he some. Not, has he not shown some. you in two games this year that he has the nuts? For for doing what Jackson Dart did? I mean, yeah, no, he showed me. He has but showed Jackson me. Jackson's a good quarterback, though. Like, let's not yeah. sleep on Jackson, though, either. Not like, like yeah. some some scrub quarterback did uh, that no, either. But, but time out, but time out. Again, like all Georgia conversations, it is viewed through a harsher I lens. Agree. I agree. I know. You're trying know. to win three natties in a row. And Stetson had the nuts. That's why you won the natties. I like, I, I saw some of Carson's, and okay, I like what I'm seeing so far. But, you know, we got, we just, there, there's still more yet to reveal. And we'll, uh, we'll we'll see the rest over time. Mm. Um, mm, mm, mm. Mm. yeah, we just golf. We just read that stat on here as well. Um, let's see here. 
or we can circle back some of these comments. Look, um, okay, Nick Town says UGA wide receivers can't have so many drops. Arian Smith dropped the pass every game this year. I think it's more Arian. Arian Arian Smith has struggled. That's been a little bit of a disappointment. He's they've tried to get him involved with some deep throws and just has not not happened this year. But once again, Marcus is playing well. Dominic Lovett has just coming off his best game. Ra Ra has been playing tremendous the past three weeks. And don't forget, you got Lad McConkey. He's back 100 percent so you got four legit receivers and you run the ball well. Like once again, I, 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 this this offense will be fine. Yeah, but you, like T. Bob said though, the, these guys, this is uh, this is opportunity. I think more than anything, this is Carson's opportunity. This is great. If if Carson wants yes. to come out this year, if Carson wants to be, because I've talked to him before, if he truly wants to come out this year, be a one and done guy. What do you mean by I've talked to him before? Has he told you that before? I think he I think there's a feeling of I've been in college for a while. Yeah, true. True. I mean, I haven't even got that 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 thought process from you know at times when I've talked to uh um uh, Mississippi State's quarterback. I'm drawing a blank right now. Will Rogers? Will Rogers. Like no, there's a point of like look, being in college uh, for so long, like you're ready just to move on. Uh, and like, Jaden not saying, like, was right at that point last year, and yeah. Brian Kelly and Joe Sloan and LSU had to hit him with this like re-recruitment and they showed him a six month plan and we're like look if we execute on this plan you can take your game to a new level and but, they but Jay did that too though like Carson is no he did that's true good tape and then Carson also if they get the job done this year would have had three national championships like is there sure. what are you truly waiting for at that point I think it's kind of like okay I need to move on with my life kind of mentality and and like the draft class is good but I would still put Carson somewhere in that three to five range of quarterbacks taking off the board yeah, I mean he's is, he's he's massive, especially if he wins the natty. I mean, if he yes. wins the natty, then he proves everything. He has all the physical skills, he has yep. all the intangibles. Suddenly it's not just because he had Brock Bowers. So you're right. This actually sets up to really put Beck on the main stage. So we're gonna find out. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, if it's anything like a lot of my other predictions, I'm probably wrong. Um uh well, you know, I guess I was right about Washington, but you know, we'll we'll see. Uh, I love this from Chad D. He says, I'm a Michigan fan. Can other Michigan fans drop the holier-than-thou Michigan man morally superior act and just embrace the filth? Get down in the mud with everyone else. Just win, baby. I agree, Chad. Fuck him. That's what, if I was a Michigan <laughs> fan, I'd be watching the show and be like, fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. I'm out. I don't give a shit. We're winning the natty. Like, that, mm -hmm. hell yeah. That's that. That's that's what, that, that's what the attitude you got to have. Um. All right. Dabo, Swinney, and Clemson. I'm still surprised this whole Michigan thing. You have not brought up the uh, South Park episode when they talk about cheating, and it's kind Which of one? the same thing. I've never seen it before. We played it on my my Sirius XM show yesterday, where they're essentially the same thing that you said that that you get to be so dominant and so good that people don't even care when like the 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 elite people are cheating. Oh, just, oh, the yeah. Belichick episodes. Oh, I forgot about yes. those, dude. I forgot about that. You're kind of like praise for it almost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's, it's too big to fail. It's a real yeah. thing. It's not yeah. like, it's a very real human thing and banking and sports and everything. Like, are you really going to go after Belichick that hard and tear down one of your sports greatest rivalries? Cause that affects the integrity of the game. Like, like you're going to go after coach K what what would Coach K and Duke had to have gotten caught doing to to actually go after him? You mm. would have to have a dead person with Coach K's hands around the throat before you would ever try to go after that man. So that's just I mean that's just how it works, dude. Um, no, I just always think about the the NCAA slavery episode which is just aged like a fine wine in south park <laughs> where they're making fun of the fact that none of these kids are paid for all of their labor and they're like this we're giving them oh education oh yeah it's a mighty fine idea there so <laughs> it's uh yeah that, that's all time good <laughs>